Welcome back to the weekly cosmic forecast. This is for the week of August 12th through the 18th. I'm Kara Hart, numerologist and astrologer, and this is Sophie Wan, astrologer and celestial guide. And we're going to break down this week's cosmic forecast for you. But before we do, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We are doing this every single week, spreading awareness on what's happening numerologically and astrologically. And honestly, I don't know any other place that's doing that. So I know. Come hang out with us yeah, and learn about the cosmic us. energies. We're your cosmic besties. That's, that's what, right. You know, that's what we're here for. So anyways, numerologically, this is kind of a big week. This is a week mm. 33. I know. <laughs> I was waiting for your. <laughs> okay, so I haven't had. I just haven't heard of one of these. Yeah, it's it's pretty rare, um, but it is the thirty third week of the year. So it is a week thirty three, but thirty three mm. actually adds up to six. So it has all mm. the qualities of a six, but it's a more intense version of the six. For those of you who may not know, thirty three is a master number in numerology. There are only three master numbers. And this mm. master number represents unconditional love. So mm. again, I don't know what's going on astrologically yet, a but lot. this is, yeah, this is a really big week when it comes to relationships and love. So your relationships are going to be taking center stage this week. Now that can be family, that could be close friends, mm. uh, co-workers, or it could be romance. Um. So with the 33, does that mean that it's going to be more of like a challenging week with love and relationships and all mm. that because I feel like master numbers are notorious for having intensity yeah just yeah. that like super intense energy come through yeah for sure and here's the thing I mm. think that everything has a light and shadow side to it mm -hmm. so it really depends on where you're at with your own journey when it comes to self-love and relationships and I think that's something to remember this week is that you know outward love really starts within mm -hmm. like your relationships are as strong as mm. you are with your own self. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I would say to focus on this week is to focus on self-love and compassion. Mm. And the more you can get in touch with that, the more you can radiate that out to others. But sometimes, you know, when you're in this kind of energy, it could look like challenges in relationships. But again, mm -hmm. everyone is a mirror, right? So it's not to punish you, but it's to show you the areas in which you need to still work on yourself and love yourself. So this is going to be a week of, again, focusing on love, focusing on relationships. It's a really good time for self-care. Mm -hmm. Um, Because again, that six energy is all about self-care and nurturing. It is the number of the nurturer. And, you know, it's about <clears throat> understanding when you feel the most loved mm -hmm. and how how are you giving love and how are you receiving love mm -hmm. and is that in alignment with what you want ultimately for relationships so again it's a really big week this is not a number that's common this is actually one of the few times we're going to even have it yeah this year so again it's it might feel intense when it comes to relationships but mm -hmm. by the end of the week you should have a clear idea of your definition of love. Yeah, we are still in Mercury retrograde, but instead of um, it being heavily astrological because of all this, like all the uh, transits, these different transits happening, we have two major transits that have to do with Mars energy. So it's really interesting. Whoa. Yeah. So we've got Mars conjunct, conjunct Jupiter Wednesday, August 14th. And then we've got Mars square Saturn August 15th. And so, wow, okay. Yeah. So, a lot of really Yikes. intense energy. And so, when you're talking about the 33 and it being about love, Mars is the energy that embodies sexual energy, right? Venus is really love. And we had this like Mercury conjunct Venus aspect that happened last week. This week, it's really all about Mars. And so, you have this like elevated, passionate energy. And I think that what this tells me is the 33 combined with this Mars energy is really going to be magnifying it, like expression, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what Mars is. It's just energy and expression. And so like things are going to get spicy because anytime you have prevalent Mars energy in the mix, like it gets real spicy. And so really watch how for Wednesday and Thursday with these dates and these aspects. And, you know, Mars conjunct Jupiter is actually a really positive so you might be feeling it's almost kind of like 
the high of a roller coaster and then you might feel the crash of that roller coaster the mm -hmm. following day when you have Mars square Saturn squares are really challenging aspects yeah and Saturn is like the mean daddy of the zodiac so it's almost kind of like okay you need to get real with yourself and real with where you're putting your energy because Mars is going to come back and ask you where what are you actually investing it you're expending mm. your energy into and on top of that, right, it represents sexual energy. And, you know, so I think romantic love, especially with this 33, is going to be a huge, huge prevalent theme for this week. Yeah. Also, you might be having awesome sex. Mm, yes. Because Mars is the planet of aggression yes. and sexual energy. That's so right. basically what we're saying is mm. this week is the best week for sex this year. Yeah. You heard it here first. Let but us not know in with the your comments. exes because it's still Mercury retrograde. Not with your exes, Ashleisha. Don't you dare <laughs> let us know if, what what's happening this week with that Mars energy. <laughs> She's tired of you calling her out. <laughs> <laughs> Ashleisha. <laughs> yeah. So those are really the aspects of what's happening um, for for the week. And it seems like I've already given away that next week is going to be a really heavy astrological week. So this is almost kind of like the build up to that. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to cut that. Yeah. Oh, I we think. Are? Yeah. I don't think we should. Really? Okay. We'll yeah. keep that in yeah. here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this is congruent and making sense. All right. Well, thanks for being here as always. We'll see you next week. Um, I'm Kara Hart. If you are enjoying all of this and want to know more about numerology, be sure to check out the link in the description where you can check out my course and my numerology reports. And Sophie also has an amazing app. If you're into Vedic astrology. Yes, it's called Rahab. And if you want to know more about Vedic astrology, check out my website where you can book a reading with me. And I have a course that's going to be coming out soon. That's right. She does. And it's amazing. Yeah. Everything right. she does is amazing. Okay, we'll see you next week. <laughs>